Hello and welcome to a new EasyDigitals.com video tutorial. Remember, you can get all of our high quality Photoshop and Photoshop Elements templates at EasyDigitals.com. Just click on the Products button. And don't forget to sign up for our monthly newsletter. We give away free templates and tutorials each and every month, along with product update info and coupons. Okay, Kim, what easy tutorial are you going to show us today? Today, I'm going to show you how to resize any poster to any size. So I've got a poster up here, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the background layer and come up to my Transform Control tool. And this puts these little boxes in the centers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag a guide out to the center. That way, if I need to know where the center of my poster is, I can easily tell where it's at. To find out what size this poster currently is, I'm going to come up to Image, Image Size, and I can see that the poster is 18 inches wide by 12 inches high, 300 resolution. So I'm just going to press Cancel, so now I know how large it is. I'm going to come over to my Crop tool, and I'm going to put in the size that I want the poster to be, and this could be any size preferably a longer in a landscape view. You would want the width to be bigger than the height, but you could actually also crop it into an exact square if you wanted to. So I'm going to put the width as 10, and it's going to automatically put in IN for inches, and I'm going to put the height at 8. And again, you could do 7 by 5 or whatever. I'm going to leave the resolution the way it is, so I'm going to leave this blank. And now I'm going to come over to this corner and I'm just going to drag down. And it's going to fill in the area and I'm going to have this square with the marching ants. Now I'm going to press this over. Now I can see this little circle right here in the middle and I'm going to have that in the middle. Okay, so now this has taken the exact distance off each side. I'm not going to press enter yet. I'm going to drag a guide out to each of these areas to the right and left. And then I'm going to right click and click cancel because I don't want to crop it yet. Because I have all these areas over here and over here that would be cut off if I cropped it right now. So I'm not going to crop it right now. So I'm, now I'm just going to start moving things around that I don't want to get cropped off. So I'm just going to come up. Now right now I've got auto select layer and show transform controls selected and I click and it's taking me to this layer because this layer takes up the entire area. So I'm going to lock that layer so that it will not select that layer. So now I can take and I'm going to press down shift and click on this drive. Now both of these layers are selected and I'm just going to press my shift down and arrow them to the right. If my shift button is pressed down while I'm arrowing, arrowing these, it's going to do it a little bit faster. So I'm going to arrow this over because I don't want it to get cut off when I crop. And I'm going to take do the same thing with these circles. I pressed the top one and then I pressed shift over here in the layer area and, and then selected the bottom one and then it highlighted everything in between and then I just arrowed it over. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to arrow this over so that I don't lose anything. And anything that you don't want to get cut off, you're going to have to move out of. Like right now, this little bar here is hanging down. So if I crop it, it will, it will get cut off. So I'm going to bring this up so that it doesn't get cropped off. If I wanted, if I had something that I wanted to make sure did not get cut off, I could even make it smaller. Like, but in this case, that's not really a problem. So, okay, so now I am ready to crop. So I'm going to come over to my crop tool. My 10 and 8 is already still in there and I'm going to come down and crop and I can just move it over and press enter. And now it is cropped to the new, new size. Now if you wanted guides for this one, you would have to put them at like a quarter inch just like the other ones are so that you would know what your safety zone is for printing. And now if you wanted to, you could move these back down. That is basically how you would resize any poster and you can move these elements around after that, resize, and you have all of your main elements that you need. Hey, that was easy. Thanks for watching. 
If you have any questions about this tutorial or any of our products, you can always reach us at easydigitals.com. Have a creative day.